So I've made my graph and there's some things that I want to do to it to help me analyze the data. The first thing I'm going to do is on the axis, I want more grid lines down here. So what I'm going to do, what I'm going to do is under, I double click on the axis and I'll open the chart editor. I'm going to scroll down to grid lines and ticks. And I'm going to say that I want to show major ticks and I want to show minor ticks. Um, I can also choose instead, if I wanted, that I want major and minor grid lines, and then they go the whole way through. I'm going to go with the grid lines. I want them more frequently than they are here, though. As right now, it says that the minor count is two. That means between 20 and 30, it is showing two numbers, which splits it to like 23 and change and 26 and change, which doesn't seem great. I'm going to have it split it. I'm going to add nine in there. So now it'll have 21 through 29. The next step that I'm going to do is I'm going to take this chart and I want to draw stuff on it. So I'm going to add it to a Google drawing. I will download the chart as a PNG. Then within Drive, I'm going to go new Google drawing. I can either now add it or just drag it in from my downloads. And this chart is here for me to edit. Things that I want you to do to the chart. I want you to try to draw in a titration curve. So I'm going to scribble. Uh, my choice here is scribble. And that one will let me do it by hand. If you're on an iPad, you can do something like this with a little more um, finesse than I'm going to be able to here. So I'm going to draw it through. Um, I don't love this one. I'm going to delete it and try it again. So scribble. That one's a little bit better because I missed, I didn't have that little weird thing. I'm going to change the color because I like to, to be something more visible. And I'm going to make it a little bigger so that it's even more visible. Things I want you to mark on here. I want you to mark the equivalence point and I want you to mark the buffering region. You can perhaps draw an arrow to where you think the equivalence point is. That's something helpful. Something that can be helpful for labeling a region of this graph is here under um shapes under equation an open bracket i can draw this i can rotate it i can make it bigger smaller however i want in order to label that region and then additionally text boxes can help me label stuff at this point you would label your drawing with something logical. And now if I want to, I can add this drawing to my paper by uh, inserting drawing from file.